All right, we're walking along here in the marina parking lot. As you see, uh, will be some cleanup coming up, uh, basically. And hopefully they'll clean up because the rumor has it the river will be back on the rise again. But yeah, this is what the water left when it was at its highest. Yep. We'll get the cleanup going here eventually. But look at, it's basically uh, in here, it's still high, but it's back where it belongs. In the river, not in the parking lot. This is where our getting geese will camp out at. But a lot of driftwood in here. Holy cow. Got a nice big pile of driftwood right here. All drifted in from the back waterways. And there's only one wet spot left up here in the parking lot. And that's it, uh, basically. But we able to walk by the lighthouse real quick. Yeah, more driftwood. Hello, YouTube. Uh, Angie is still busy doing what she's doing, but not inside the apartment. We decided to take a break. She went one direction. She told me to take the camera and come down here. We'll see her towards the end of the video. Uh, yeah, uh, the flood came all the way up here to this curb at its highest point. Just came up to this, where my foot, for this. That's the highest it gotten to uh, in spots in here. But then there were some water lines in here, but then that's when the river was receding, uh, basically. But this is the only area right here where part of the parking lot is still underwater. Uh, that's it. And I think by the, uh, I guess by the lighthouse is still parts of underwater. Uh, we'll check there real quick. Uh, then we'll check the south side. Then we'll just grab a bite to eat head for, head for home. But yeah, the water is receding right now. It's receding good, but it's left its mess. Yeah. Last week, we were literally touching the Mississippi River right in this area right here. And all that it was underwater. That's what's left of the water right there. It's like a mud bog there. But look at here. We can now actually walk up to here now. Because remember the water last week was around the handicap sign and we couldn't, it, this was underwater. So now we're standing right here to the pier. And when you see the, the muck, that's where most of the water was on. But I think you have to go above the notch for it's maybe right where my finger is. Is, I would say right where my, my finger is, if I can hold the camera right there. Maybe slightly higher, about right in there. That's how high the water was. It didn't stay up very long, but that's where the majority of the water stayed during this whole flood situation. So that's an unofficial, official mark. It's because it was higher than that, uh, basically. Uh, yeah. A lot of cleanup yet to go, but we heard there's, well, the water could be back on the rise uh, within the next week or so. Last week I was making jokes about this uh, pile of wood. Makes a good bonfire, but that was last week. This is this week. And we're going up over here on the other side of the candlelight in the marina. Okay, we're walking out here to the end of this uh, walkway. And boy, like I said, what a week a difference makes. Look how fast, look how much the river has receded from the highest point to you see the branches along the dike right there where I'm aiming right there that's how high the water was compared to the water that has receded to right now how low can it go before uh, you see uh, Flag Island out there we don't know it'll take a while well, you can see the handrail at the top of the pier there. It broke the surface probably uh, either 
last night or early this morning, but the the top handrail of that has finally made its appearance after a couple week absence. As you see, the water through here has receded a lot since then, because the water was all the way up to right up into that uh, zone right there. And you see how far it has officially receded down to right there. So it's pretty good. Uh, like I said, depending on any more heavy rains, which we had not received our first severe weather yet. Uh, it all depends on the snow melt up north. And if it does came down, uh, it already would pass already. But we heard weather reports, the river is supposed to crest again, but we don't know when. There's a food vendor up here, and I have not had my lunch yet. Don't tell Angie this, she'll get mad. She'll probably find out when I edit this video anyway. We're going to try Kelly's Girls Wood Fire Pizza for lunch. I've been trying, wanting to try this place for a long time. And every time I want to try it, back then we didn't really have the funds to do it. Because of other outside sources of income and our ad set revenues are, are doing pretty good. I thought we would give it a try for this video. Uh, let's make this video not just about the floodwaters receding, but we're going to have an awesome lunch. So right now, we're up here and checking out the Kelly Girls stand. And that's what we're going to try. We're going to try a pizza from them. It'll be the first time I try it. Let's go order our pizza. Alright guys, there it is. Kelly Girls Wood Fire Pizza. That is a sausage pizza on that big uh, plate here. That's an $8 pizza right there, believe it or not. And with a can of pop, makes it a total bill of $9. And I'm trying this for the first time. Angie's gonna be so jealous of this. But I'll owe her lunch, uh, basically. So, I'll just owe her later. Right now, we're here at my bench, enjoying the view of the river, while I'm enjoying that pizza. I had to show you the bottom of the, of the crust here. See how the spots and specks on the crust is? How it's kind of, uh, kind of burnt. Well, I can't say burnt, but that's what it's supposed to be like. But look at how it's just looking good right there. But that's the bottom of the crust. That hey, looks pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's take a bite. You know, I don't really know what they call mukbang here on YouTube. Mukbang is when you... Uh, when someone makes a video of them eating. Sorry guys, I had to show you what I'm eating this. This is delicious pizza. Holy cow. Wow, that's only the first slice. Just a slice of heaven. I am in trouble with Angie. Look at that, I'm down to my last slice, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it. That's how filling it was. It's a special kind of dough that they're using for the uh, wood fire pizza. It's probably the softest crust I ever had uh, for any kind of pizza, uh, basically. Last time I had wood fire pizza, uh, basically something similar to that. You have to go back quite a few years ago, long before we had YouTube where Clinton was a uh, final stop of uh, Rag Ride, uh, which is basically the Des Moines paper bike ride across Iowa. And Clinton was a stop, and the people that was putting the wood fire pizza together was uh, an outfit from San Diego, California called Dang Brothers. And they cooked their wood fire pizza on the back of a fire truck. Uh, basically, uh, as you see, this was on a red trailer. They're about ready to wrap up business as of right now. So let's zoom it in over there. So anytime I see that trailer up here on the riverfront, I guess we're going to have to order some pizza from there. That's pretty good pizza. And you get a good view too. Good pizza. Good pizza. Good view. Can't beat that. Hello. Hello, YouTube. I had a nice walk. I heard you did. And you heard a rumor, probably because we talked about it off camera. Mm. Uh, excuse me. How was your pizza? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Is that is that filling? Uh oh. 
It's that good. If you I'm could have bought it home. If, if I'm bur oh, I couldn't take bring it home. They ran out of boxes. Uh-oh. Had to put mine on the plate. They, they, they only served mine on the plate. No box. Uh-oh. So I owe you a pizza. You owe me a pizza, pizza I, from Kelly's Girls. Yep. It was a good pizza. I had a nice good view, too, on top of that. Uh, river's down since last week. I a lot of firewood. I, I knew that. A lot of firewood. Oh, by the way, did I tell you? A lot of firewood down there. Yes. <laughs> a lot of driftwood firewood. Yes. And the uh, hay railing of the uh, pier is now sticking out. Whoa! Yeah, that's how fast it dropped. Oh, that's how far it dropped. To you this guys, point. and if he has it off in two weeks, he's going to do the ball game with it. That's good. Yay. Because it's the Cubs. That's right. Hopefully you see the Cubs I'll farm team. Yeah. The Chicago Cubs farm team will be coming to town. And someone want us to do a baseball vlog already. Yep. Carla, is that you? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, we're going to wrap up this video. Yeah, I owe you uh, a pizza lunch up there from Kelly's Girls. Or we can do Holly's sometime in the summertime. Yeah, we can do that too. Uh, pick a choice, right? Yep. Oh, by the way, don't forget, uh, I think one of our subscribers, if they still watch our channel, they also run the food stand too. Yes, they're while. going to have it up there because... Uh, I asked him, I believe I asked them when uh, I was at a game and he wasn't. Oh, okay. And uh, they're thinking about running the food stand up there mm -hmm. too. So we got to give that a try. Yep. Holy cow, we're going to get fat on this channel this summer. Okay, looks like Angie's voice is getting back. I'm about ready to lose mine. Oh, you guys, I was told by somebody off camera. Yeah. Don't clean today. Yeah, we decided to take a break from our cleaning today. So... And I'm not going to show you to show them I found in the uh, okay. fan. Yeah, but that's okay. Don't because I showed him the picture. Yuck. It was yuck. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I had a nice walk. had a nice lunch. Uh, I owe you lunch, right? Mm-hmm. I owe you lunch big time. Yep. We all owe Angie lunch big time, right? Yes. Okay. I have to buy the pizza, the most expensive pizza on the menu. Yep. If you like it, right? Yep. One thing we don't like is time to end this video. Already? Already. You just got started on it. It's yeah. time to end it. Not fair, right? No. Life is never fair, right? Okay. Oh, please like, share, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. On Easter Sunday for us. Yes. Bye. Bye.